them what they want. Use, use tools that are going to engage them, like the Anishinaabe symbol-based method or photo voice. Or we were talking about vines, using vines the other day uh, to engage kids in movie making. Because we need to start making ice. Now, I'm going to skip through this. Everyone, when we do this talk, has really negative images, I think, of teenagers. And they don't know what resilience looks like. And so Jessica is going to give us what resilience looks like through the eyes of a great Canadian band. So look at some of the images of resilience in this little video. So that should be our image of what indigenous youth are going to look like in Canada. Sport as resilience, nature as resilience, culture as resilience, belonging as resilience. All of those things were in there. A tribe called Red nailed it, right? And it's, it's coming. It's coming. This is moving in our country. A tribe called Red is the number one band on iTunes right now. So when you're developing programs, imagine those kids. Never say, this is how we do it, this is how we're going to continue to do it, because that drives me insane. So thank you very much. I really want to thank my partners. Here's what I looked like 10 years ago. 
Larry Wood, Alma McKay and Mary Wood, and uh, thank you very much for staying right to the very end and listening to this talk. Thank you. Thank you, right here, right here. Wow, uh, Jonathan, stick around, we have some gifts for you. We have, uh, on behalf of the entire gang, my goodness, uh, go for a walk, there you go. <laughs> thank you for over polling for supplying those. And we also have one of these babies right here. Uh, but I also, uh, I, I, I go to a lot of conferences and I make a living traveling around, doing stuff and, and talking and telling a lot of stories. And I get a lot of gifts uh, and some things I think are meant not to stay with me. And this has stayed with me for a very long time. And I want to give this to you, but not just to you, but maybe somebody else can, can, can use it. Uh, but I'd like to think that when, when you said resilience and resiliency, I, I'd like to believe that there's no people more resilient than our young people in our communities. And what makes our young people so resilient is knowing and feeling and understanding all that pain and the emptiness and the third world conditions and everything. But just the fact that they still have hope to me is what resiliency is all about and wanting to move forward in a good way. Uh, but I was gifted this by young people and I want to give this to you to either keep to yourself or to pass it on to, to, to another youth around the country. So this says resiliency. So I want to give this to one of your clients and let's do this and this. Thank you, man. And we, tell that, we, we tend to tell our young people all the time that they're the future. And every time we say that, they roll, honestly, I see young people, they roll their eyes every single time. And our young people are not the future. They're the present, they're the now. But rather than maybe tell our young people they're the future, maybe we should, we should be telling our young people that they're the promise. And they're the promise that things are gonna get better. And by telling them they're, they're the promise is we're telling ourselves that we need to do a little bit more for them. And our commitment is steadfast that we continue to do more. Uh, it's so wonderful to, 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 to end off with young people uh, because young people are always the start. So we either end off strong or start off strong. In my opinion, I always have a real soft spot for kids. I started doing this when I was 17 years old, traveling all over the country, and I'm 43 now. And I've been, I'm, I'm working on my second generation of, of people, of, of audiences. And uh, it, it's, this is so wonderful. I'm really moved right in here. So thank you again. Uh, we are going to close up shop here. We got many, many gifts to give away. <laughs> and Tuesday's like, what is that? It's from a, it's from a, a, a vendor. Tuesday, uh, but uh, get out the blue tickets, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the uh, Canadian Diabetes Association is giving away some uh, really nice uh, 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 stuff here. Alexandra Sutherland, are you here? Does anybody know Alexandra? Does anybody want to be Alexandra? Okay, you, okay, perfect, right there, that's yours. Uh, Barb Thompson, right there, Barb, awesome. Nice, they're happy for you, not so much for her, but they're happy for you. Uh, let's see here, I have uh, many, many things to give away and we have our elders coming up. Do we have the uh, Anwa drummers present? Do we have them present? They are. Okay, perfect. Okay, I can tell by the drums. Perfect. Okay, good. Awesome. Um, we have uh, many, many people to thank uh, for this. And as I was mentioning earlier, and I was just kidding around, uh, but we talked to, I talked about this being the best conference ever, but not really been to any other conferences. But I'd like to think that this was, this was a great event. And what makes events great is, is not so much the information, uh, but it's how you're able to connect with information and with people around the room. And when we get information, it's good. We go home and we use it. But when we feel like we're a part of a community and we feel like we have opportunities to, to share, opportunities to connect with people, opportunities to tell our story and listen to others, not just in here, but around your table, and not just around your table, but at Walmart, and not just at Walmart, but here in the lobby, uh, it turns into something incredible. And we have been doing this type of stuff for hundreds if not thousands of years where we travel long distances to come and tell stories and essentially that's all we've been doing over the last two days is telling stories the gift is always within the story and as winter time approaches it gets hard traditionally and where I come from 
When we ask people, we never ask people, how old are you? But we always ask people, Dan de tohpe pa nesien. That's what we ask them. Dan de tohpe pa nesien. And when somebody asks you that, they're telling you, they're asking you, how many winters have you survived? And we're survivalists. Right to the core of our culture, we survivalists. And through work like this, we're helping our people survive yet another winter. And once the winter passes, things get a little easier. We can feast on more food, the creeks open up, and we can journey long ways so we can continue to tell stories. So events like this, they're very cultural. With modern day technology, and people that come in all over the world to come and tell their story. So the challenge is now, what are you gonna do with these stories? How are you gonna serve your people a little bit more with all the stories and all the information? That's always the challenge. But if you go back there with a little more passion and being able to share some stories, perhaps of some of the successes from other communities and take this back to our leadership perhaps, our people are worth it. And as, uh, as Dr. Musquash mentioned on the first day, there are thousands of years of, of, of combined experience here. So our people are in good hands. Our people are in your hands, and your hands are good. And I really want to thank you for coming. Give yourselves a round, guys. <clears throat> we have our uh, planning committee to say, miigwech too. Uh, big time thank you for the planning committee. They met, I'm sure, months and months and months to, to figure out who they're going to invite, how they're going to invite, where they're going to have it. Lots of logistics, of course, lots and lots of logistics. And in my opinion, the planning committee put it, uh, pulled it off big time, big time. So I'd like to acknowledge the planning committee and, and invite them all up to please uh, get some gifts on your behalf because you paid for them. <laughs> But I know the committee's like, we didn't expect this. Of course you didn't expect it, but we're very thankful, planning committee. Uh, we have from uh, Sodi, we got Rosalind, Carrie, and Amanda. Will you please come up, please, and get a gift? You ever happy? Right on. Come on up, smile. It's okay. Right over here. From the National Association, Diabetes Association, we got Jeff and Alisher. Little uh, awkward pause there, but I think we pulled it off. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, from Anwa, we have Ingrid Green. Ingrid, are you here? She's not here. I will take her gift and not give it to her on her behalf. <laughs> Thank you. But Ingrid, right here. Perfect. Uh, from Thunder Bay Indian Friendship Center, we got Kathy Spence. Kathy. Take that here too. Uh, and I also want to, she's not here, uh, but my buddy Louie from ITK, uh, she is absolutely awesome, like awesome big time. Uh, so I want to say miigwech to Louie as well from ITK. Um, Roz and Jeff, I understand you want to come up and, and make a presentation. Well, just on behalf of, um, here comes Jeff. <laughs> on behalf of everybody in this room, we want to thank you, Stan. You've made this a wonderful conference and uh, your energy and passion is just amazing. And um, we could just have you talk all day next time. So, <laughs> But thank you very much. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't expecting this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's continue. Uh, Diana from Urban Polling for a short presentation. Is Diana here? Diana. I think I'm the only thing between you and actually leaving, so I'm going to keep this really short. But I do want to say, um, just first off, thank you to um, Nada and Sodi and the other partnering 
um, organizations for allowing us to be here today. Uh, we really are thrilled to be able to speak with all of you. Um, I feel like many of you um, I know um, personally now over the last few years working with your communities and also the many new people that I met. Um, just thank you. We're just very grateful to be here and hopefully in some small way uh, we're making a difference. And um, we did also just want to acknowledge as well um, the incredible planning committee because they really did do an amazing job. And so um, we've donated um, a pair of polls to each of them as well. Hopefully they will enjoy them and um, will walk to better health by using them. So um, I'll just have each of you come up. Um, Alisher was not here, right? Or is he here? Okay. Okay, 